Hollywood would script its own version in the 1960 movie Inherit the Wind. The real Scopes Monkey trial in 1925 was better than any movie. Covered by newspaper and radio, it was the first true media trial of the century. The media portrayed it as a battle between traditionalists and modernists, a battle for American culture. In 1859, Charles Darwin published his seminal work on the origin of the species. He hypothesized that all living creatures descended from a common ancestor. This theory was popularly interpreted as humankind evolving from apes. To many people, evolution flew in the face of Christianity and the Bible. In 1925, Tennessee passed a law barring the teaching of evolution in the classroom. That same year, the city fathers of Dayton, Tennessee, had the idea that it would be good business for the town to have a trial that tested the law. They enlisted the aid of John Scopes, the local high school science teacher, who had been teaching evolution as a part of biology. Two local attorneys and friends of Scopes agreed to file suit against him. The American Civil Liberties Union consented to handle the defense. All that was needed were high-profile attorneys on both sides to put Dayton on the map. The prosecution brought in Williams Jennings Bryant, the one-time leader of the populist movement. Now a bitter old man, Bryant had joined the fundamentalist campaign to ban Darwin from the classroom. Clarence Darrow, the celebrated defender of the rights of man, eagerly joined the defense. As the town officials hoped, the trial produced a circus atmosphere that engaged the interest of the entire nation through the efforts of such men as H.L. Mencken, reporter for the Baltimore Evening Sun. Opening statements portrayed the trial as a titanic struggle between good and evil, truth and ignorance. Bryant claimed, if evolution wins, Christianity goes. Darrow countered, Scopes isn't on trial. Civilization is on trial. The press loved it. At the end of the trial, the judge fined John Scopes $100. Ironically, the verdict was overturned on a technicality. The trial was the first of what would be called the cultural wars between religious fundamentalists and modernists. Though evolution became an undisputed scientific fact, Teaching it was fought in the courts, the legislatures, and the media. It is still a hot-button issue.